what's going on guys so on my way to a meeting right now which is uh, it's a meeting that originally started about uh, like photography so it's uh, it's like a, it's a gym owner of a gym contacted me saying uh, I heard about uh, Brampin here, I heard you do stuff with uh, like content creation and like all kinds of stuff online, stuff like that. So he was interested, he said, you know, can we meet up? I've got like a little business idea for you. And he said, I need photos for like my business idea. And what I'm going to try and do is try and do an upsell towards a uh, video. So instead of doing the photos, I'm going to see if I can get him to do like an upsell. And uh, instead of me doing photos, I'll do videos for him. And obviously for me, that's better because you know, it's, it earns more money, but it'll be better for him in the long run as well. And um, basically, Facebook, because that's where he's going to post all the content, Instagram, Facebook, but mainly Facebook. And um, Facebook is really like doubling down on video content because Facebook, like not everyone knows this, but Facebook is trying to compete with YouTube and Netflix with a new platform called Facebook Watch, which is... Uh, it's gonna be a combination of like high-end, high-quality series, like proper professional series, and also vloggers. So YouTube wants to combine Netflix and Facebook and make Facebook Watch and then compete with both platforms. And therefore, they are promoting video content a lot. So if you post a video on Facebook, uh, that will get more reach, more engagement than photos or, you know, just plain text. Why? Because Facebook wants to prove to you that video is like the next big thing which it is like in essence it is um like 2018 video is gonna like blow up if it hasn't already but facebook wants to show that even more by saying look you know more people engage with video especially on the platform facebook so that is why if you're a vlogger or if you create content you should do it on facebook watch so you know even though it's like a sort of upsell to to, to do video it will benefit this guy in the long run and that's why I always look for, I always try and find like a win-win between me and the business owner or the client because if it's not a win-win then there's no point in doing it and if I do do it and I win and he doesn't or if he wins less than I do then in the long run that will affect me in a bad way because he might go to someone like another big business owner and say like listen he done a video for me but or he done content for me but you know I didn't benefit from it as much as he did you know money-wise so I always look to go for a win-win and I think that in the long run that is probably like the, the best mindset to go for and then sometimes you might have to say no to a client if it's not a good fit for either uh, parties then maybe yeah you should say no to a client I think that at the start everyone's quite scared of saying no like if it doesn't feel right or if you feel like it's going to be too much work for the pay or do the round if you think that you're not providing enough value for the price then don't do it because in the end it won't work out the way you think it will. So anyway, that's my three minute, what is it? Three minute rant done. Uh, on my way to the meeting, nearly there. Actually don't know the last bit, like I'm trying to figure out how to get there. I saw some, it's in Zandam, which is like relatively close by Horn. I know how to get to Zandam, but from there, I don't know how to get to the hotel. So I'll figure that out after the meeting and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Ah, there we go. My guys, focus, and then. That's better. Right guys, so the meeting went well. Uh, definitely something that I can do. Definitely something we're gonna like uh, push forward. It's uh, the, the owner of, it's, uh, it's oh, I can't even talk. Guys, it's the owner of a gym, of a PT studio, so personal training studio, but a high-end personal training studio. And uh, they just started, they've got the grand opening, like somewhere in March. They want me to film the grand opening and create like an after movie, which will also be a promo video for like future uh, projects and stuff like that. And uh, like they're definitely gonna do this one video with me, and then he said like we are looking for something long term, so maybe do like a video a month or a video every other week or something like that for their own like social media. So successful meeting, really enjoy like talking to the guy. He's like a uh, mindset wise, he's on the same wavelength as me. You know, he's really big on like self improvement and entrepreneurship and stuff like that. So I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. Now it's back home again back to the the grind what do you call it you know with other ways just back to my desk and like do some other work for a brand in there uh, ja man dat weet je dat dus even uh, kijken van uh, ja wat je op, of je al wat plannen hebt en zo weet je wel en uh, we zitten met die testimonial video's als je een paar af hebt kunnen we ook vast op die site zetten weet je hi guys back home again back at headquarters back on the grind as everyone likes to say 
and like obviously I do say it like sarcastically I think a lot of people like it's funny I had this conversation uh, early today at the meeting like everyone nowadays on Instagram is on the grind is hustling and like uh, the, 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 the stay, stay up later than like you know one o'clock two o'clock and then you see them waking away and stuff like that and it's funny because I think like how sustainable is that and how realistic is it like what are they doing that like how pro productive are they if they're, they're up that late, you know what I mean? Like you need to work on your time management if you're still up at like two o'clock in the morning trying to get something done. And like I said in a previous video, like what are you doing? Like are you really focusing on income producing activities or are you just doing stupid shit? Like perfecting your, your logo and building like a landing page for your website and stuff like that. Anyway, enough negativity. Uh, just got off the phone with like another client. Uh, just got to go ahead the green light to, to start like from March. Um, had a few meetings with them, and uh, basically, it, do you want to start from the first of March up and start like creating content, start creating a bit of buzz around their brand? So that's like that's a good thing for me. I can get started. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited about this one because this is again it's fitness related, and obviously I've got a passion for fitness, so really can't wait to get started on this one. And uh, before I wrap up this video, I do want to touch up on a subject. I get quite a lot of questions nowadays it's funny because i used to be the person asking this question but now i get the question at, like people ask me the question is how do you get the first client and i was thinking like should i answer this question at the end of this video or should i do like an instagram live where or instagram live a youtube live where i go in depth into like the ways they can get your first clients and then maybe do like a little q a at the end and then like you can give me questions like you know, like I've got this client or I've got an idea for this client, you know, what am I best doing? Uh, let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'll be interested in. As for now, I think like the easiest way, just like uh, off the top of my head, is do like a free trial for the client. So uh, go to the client and say like, can I manage your social media for free for like a week or two weeks, a month? That's, that's completely up to you how long you want to do it. And then um, just just make sure they know that it's a free trial and that like, you will stop after a certain period of time. And then it's up to them that they want to do it paid. Or what you can do is do it for like a week or two weeks and then in exchange for the testimonial. And that is something that you can take with you into meetings with other clients and just say like, listen, uh, I've done social media management for this client and this, these are the results and this is what I can also provide to you. And like the client that you're meeting with at the time doesn't need to know that it's for free, you know what I mean? Like all they know, you've, you've already got a paid client and they're just like client number two or number three or whatever. So anyway, hope that helps. Let, like, let me know in the comments down below, like I said before, if you want like, a little more of an in-depth video on this, I will do a YouTube live. And other than that, I hope this, like again, messy video, I know, I'm sorting it out, you know what I mean? I'm trying to document the journey, but also create like, uh, like you know, interesting, entertaining, but also valuable content for you guys. So trying to find the balance. Let me know like what you thought of it. Uh, give me feedback. I always like to know what you guys uh, think of the videos. And if you've made it this far, I've been saying a few videos now. Uh, leave your Instagram username in the comments down below, and I will make sure to follow you back. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.